They start from there, too. Flacco throwing out of the end zone to the fullback. Kyle Houston. On second and four, this is Justin Forsett. Good second effort, has a first down. Still on his feet. Forsett out to the 17-yard line, a gain of eight. Well, the Rams better get that cleaned up right now. They had two explosive plays up near 80 yards last week against the Chicago Bears, and a lot of that had to do with poor angles and poor tackling. And here is an early example of it in the Rams game, or this game here to start off. Forsett comes in as the 10th leading rusher. In the Got to commit to it. New center as well, John Herschel for the injured and pass for the season. They run only 36% of the time on the toss. It is Forsett. Another first down. Forsett. And there is gripping. Offense, number 66. 10-yard penalty. Repeat, third down. That's the left guard, Ryan Jensen, making his first career start. And you go to throw, and then you kick the foot up. That's a tough one right there. A lot of times when you see the tripping call, it, it's very definitive that you've missed the block and then your reaction is to try and throw that leg up to make the trip. It looked like Ryan Jensen got a good piece of him as he went down low to get that cut block and that was just the legs coming up in the air. Age with St. Louis earlier this season. Play action on first down and Flacco dumps it off to the tight end. Crockett Gilmore. And roll out a pretty good group as well. There's Crockett Gilmore, number 80 right there, going to go down low and then spin out. Good sell right there. Got a good little group of tight ends here, too, as well. From the St. Louis, 41 is for set. is thrown back by one of your favorite players to watch, Aaron Donald. I tell you what, he is he is so difficult to block. And Justin Forsett is still down. Aaron Donald's going to be right here. Arm over into the backfield immediately. The right arm. And Aaron Donald into the backfield quick. You're going to see as he, as he makes a tackle, it kind of traps this right arm as he spins down. It goes down hard, and he's got a he's got a serious injury to that right arm. All right, thanks, Kurt. Devaris Allen replaces for set. This is Jeremy for a first down. Short pass from Franco. It's Butler again. He breaks free. The call on the field stands following the review. 51-yard attempt, Tucker, back and down at four. Ravens must get to the 29, and back up for the broken arm earlier today. And this time, Allen is stopped for a loss. Aaron Donald coming through to make the play. <laughs> he spends an awful lot of time in the opposition backfield. Just you know, one of those guys you look at, you, really? I mean, look at your size, your stature. Are you going to play defensive tackle in the NFL? And anybody who buys into that nonsense and doesn't watch this guy on film when he was at the University of Pittsburgh and just sits down and talks to him, <laughs> missed out on a great football player. Third down and five. Five for the Ravens from the Rams' nine. Rocco swings it out. The use check. 26 right here. He motions back in with Kyle Juszczyk. Finds his way. From the 11. Flacco. In trouble. Down he goes. It is Aaron Donald yet again. You, you come into the game, you know about him. You know how well he plays. You know how often he's in your backfield. And there's still... Unable to get a block on him. There's two guys splitting the double team. How about that? That's what he told us, you know All right, we know you're working on different things. You're always looking for ways to elevate your game What are you working on right now splitting the double team? I'm getting a lot of double teams. I got to figure out how to split the double team <laughs> Guys a machine he split the double team for his seventh sack of the season Flacco on third and 14 the screen for the tight end Gilmore well and Justin Tucker They all share a November 21st birthday, and it's Tucker. Nothing positive until the very end of that first half. Tavon Austin fumbles the punt. They get it, and they go down and get a field goal. Does that give them any type of lift here to start the half? Franchise record for penalty yards in the first half by the Ravens. Wow, great job. Aiken spins away from a big hit. 
how that game ended last week against the Jaguars. On first and two. Crossing the four man. Block out. Arrogant out on second down. Aiken for the Ravens. Blocko looking for Gibbon. Need to get pressure on the quarterback just with their front four. So you've got your four defensive linemen rushing, and yet there's still enough pressure to have. Hey! Off the fade to Allen. Blocko throws, and it's Allen out of the backfield. He broke a tackle and picks up a Ravens first down for the Rams 30. Hey! Allen. Second and nine, out of the shotgun. Blackwell's pass is picked off. It's Tremaine Johnson, second interception. Be defined by this. This is not who we are. We're not a two and seven football team. How do we come out of this? Well, up until this point, it's not. Big lead in Philadelphia. Second down at nine. As Flacco throws, it's Allen. Breaks a tackle. Third down and one on the toss. It is Allen. And Allen will not get there. There after the last time they forced a turnover. From the 42, it is in. Second and nine. Rocco hit as he throws. Complete, it's Allen. And a lot of winnable games there for the Cowboys that they let slip through the fingers though while he was out. Third down and two, and Allen picks up the first. Rams stole it out. Quarterback for Dave Johnson. Questionable due to a, a thigh injury. And for... Kyle, you checked out. You talked about his receiving skills in his third season. <laughs> From the 19 on second and nine. Rocco over the middle, complete for a first. On the third, Rams turnover. First and goal. From the three. The handoff to Allen. Not much. Yeah, look at all these guys and watch them all slide to the right. I mean, you only have three players here. It's just three guys there. Three on that side of the line. Second and goal. Blacko to the end zone. Second time today, Ravens capital on his best day as a pro. First and goal from the nine. Hand off to Allen. The Ravens. Blacko throws. It's Aiken. Blanco throws, it's caught. Hip shot. From the right hash, 20 yard field goal is good. Get the ball back from the 42 yard line on first down with no timeouts. Blanco for his last nine in the air. The handoff to Juszczyk. Second down and eight. So watch Joe Flacco as this play breaks down. Understand how critical this situation is. If it's not there, it's not there. Don't try and force away. Chris Flacco hands it off. Place it down. Tucker from 51. And his kick is no good. 54 seconds remaining. Tie game. Ravens. Great timing to knock away that. See what happens to Joe Flacco at the end. Rolled up a little bit by his own guy. Allen has had a big day, and this is Allen once again from the left hash. Cook places it down, and Tucker's kick is good. The Baltimore Ravens come back from a 10-point deficit in the fourth quarter.